This is a 1.3 GHz quad-core powered smartphone that is competing with the Android One smartphones. I'm Gogi from Gogi.in and you're watching the full review of Huawei Honor Holly. It is priced at Rs 6,999. The sound values are mentioned on the box. This tool sim handset sports a 5-inch screen with HD resolution. It's running Android KitKat with 1GB RAM and 16GB internal storage. Inside the box, you'll find the handset, warranty card, quick start guide, data cable, travel charger. There are no earphones included and the final content is the battery of 2000 mAh capacity. Here is the Huawei Honor Holly. This is with a black and white color option with a glossy touch. The handset body is glossy black and the back panel is glossy white. The handset is slightly curved on the sides as you can see. For this price tag, the build quality and the finishing is very good. The top and the bottom sides are also slightly curved. Power button and volume rockers are placed on the right side. 3.5mm audio jack is on the top and micro USB port at the bottom. Speaker is on the rear on a logo and 8 megapixel rear autofocus camera with LED flash and you can also see the mic here. Dedicated buttons on the front bottom. On the top you'll find the LED notification sensors, front camera and the in-call speaker. This is the LED notification. I got an email and it started to blink. There is a mic at the bottom and another mic on the back side. Dual mics for noise cancellation. This is how you open up the back panel. The back cover is made up of good quality plastic. The sound values are also mentioned inside. This is a dual SIM handset. You can see the dual SIM slots. SIM 1 supports 3G and SIM 2 supports 2G. Both the SIM slots are micro SIM. You can also see the micro SD card slot. Weight with battery is 156 grams. It is about 8.93 mm thick, the breadth is 72.31 mm and the length is 141.94 mm. This handset is running Android KitKat out of the box with Emotion UI. This is how the home screen looks. Touch is smooth and responsive. This is a 5 inch screen with 720p resolution and the viewing angles are ok. It's not very good but for this price tag, you can ignore it. The navigation buttons do not light up. There is tools and Google folder wherein you'll find all the related applications. Native video calling is not supported and this is how the phone dialer looks. Wi-Fi direct, Wi-Fi hotspot, USB and Bluetooth tethering is supported. There is 16 GB internal storage space and only one partition of 13 GB. That's the space for apps as well as for user storage. This is the space for apps and of the 1 GB RAM you get around 603 MB free on the first boot. This is the lock screen, there is built-in GPS and only English language is supported. I have connected an OTG pen drive and as you can see OTG is not supported. If you want to switch between application or close specific application you'll need to double tap the home button. This is how you can move between applications or close applications. System information ARM Cortex A7 MediaTek MT6582 Quad Core with Mali 400MP GPU. It's running Android KitKat over a fine screen with 1280 by 720 pixels resolution. And here are the list of sensors, accelerometer proximity light orientation and magnetic. The time is 8.14, battery at 71% and the temperature at 35 degrees. Quadrant benchmark score is 6.865, Antutu score is 1.8151, Vilamo Metal 804, Multicore 1215, Browser 1587, Ninamark 2 50.7 FPS and this handset supports 5 point multi-touch. Here is the camera interface, voice capture, face detection, smile shot, HDR are supported. Picture size, rear camera is 8 megapixel. In 4 is to 3 aspect ratio, in full screen mode, you will be able to shoot in 6 megapixel resolution. This handset can shoot videos in full HD resolution. And the front camera is 2 megapixel. 
I'm going to record a video now. This is an autofocus camera. This video got recorded in 1080p resolution at 30 frames per second. After 23 minutes, the battery dropped by 11% and the temperature is 35 degrees. Wi-Fi is on and the brightness is set to the maximum. I'm going to play this video in a loop. After 1 hour 10 minutes, the battery dropped by 12% and the temperature is 38 degrees. And now let's play some games. Asphalt 8. This game got installed on the external storage. I'm playing this game in, in high visual quality mode. The game is playable. This is Modern Combat 5. This game also got installed on the external storage. The game also played really well. I played these games for about 26 minutes, the battery dropped by 23% and the temperature is 38 degrees. This handset is competing with the Android One smartphones. If you compare this with the Android One smartphone, the Android Ones are with a 4.5 inch screen with FWVGA resolution. This one is with a 5 inch screen with 720p resolution. Both the handsets are using the same chipset and are running Android KitKat with 1GB RAM. Android One smartphones are with 4GB internal storage and the Holly comes with a 16GB internal storage. This handset also comes with a higher battery capacity to compensate the bigger screen size and the resolution. The Holly also comes with an 8MP camera on the rear as compared to the 5MP on the Android ones but when you compare the quality there is not much of a difference. You can check the sample images on my website. Nevertheless, this is a good alternative to the Android One smartphones, but I'm not sure if the Holly will get regular Android updates. This handset is priced at Rs. 6,999.